Welcome back to Dude, No One's Perfect. I'm Ibrielle. And I'm Keisha. And I'm so excited to see today's competition. Oh, and you are in for a sweet treat. Get it? Sweet? <laughs> That's a good one. It's definitely going to be sweet. Let's get this competition started. Two contestants have a bowl of whipped cream with four pieces of gum hidden underneath. Without using their hands, they have to find every piece of gum the first one to find all four wins. Woo! All right, on your mark, get set, go! Oh. Woo! Wow! Ew! <laughs> <laughs> wow! It's so you keep it! Unfortunately, that means that Keegan is disqualified oh, from the competition. No. <laughs> I can't believe that I'm disqualified. I was so close and I worked so hard. Hannah P is going to be so upset when she finds out I'm her teammate and I let her down. Keegan, Keegan, it's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. She's going to understand. No way. Seriously, she's going to be so mad. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Keegan, everybody has those days. Let's just take a break and let's just go see where Hannah P's at. Come on, let's, we're gonna get things figured out. Let's go. Hey everyone, happy Easter. If you're just joining us for this month, we're learning that no one is perfect, but we can all walk in victory because of what Jesus did for us. Now the truth is we would all like to be undefeated, but we especially don't like feeling like we're losing. However, that is exactly where our story begins, with the feeling like we have lost and we can never be forgiven. Now, I know what you're thinking. I thought everything was supposed to be happy and fun and exciting. I mean, it, isn't it like the biggest day, the biggest party of church that we have all year long? Well, you're right. But the reason the party is so big is because this is the greatest comeback story ever, and it's amazing. Now, our story today starts in a really rough place. Some of you guys might remember that last week, we talked about how Jesus entered into Jerusalem and people threw a huge party just for Him. However, things didn't stay that way and people quickly started to turn against Jesus? What? In fact, things got so bad that they started telling lies about Him, they arrested Him, they even beat Him. Now, that's pretty sad, right? Yet, that is not the end of the story. Just hold on, just hold on. It was at that point that everything that had been preached about the Messiah, Jesus, came true. Now, in the saddest story in all the Bible, Jesus was taken, nailed to the cross, where He died. Can you imagine if you were watching this story unfold? The guy who's supposed to be undefeated is now, is now dead? The story is over. I mean, in all of history, no one has ever come back from that. No one's ever risen from a dead or anything like that. What? I mean, they even took this huge rock, they put it in front of a tomb where they placed his body and they rolled it in front and no one could get in or get out. Clearly in the eyes of everyone watching this huge stone, this was a sign that it was truly finished. Now, there had been some great comebacks in history. You can probably think of some from your favorite movies and books, but you know, those, those kinds of comebacks where the team is losing so bad that most of the fans have left the stadium and the only faithful few that remain actually see history made. Well, this is exactly Jesus' story. The difference is that this wasn't a comeback story for Jesus because He knew what His Father was gonna do. It had been three days and those that love Jesus remain to remember who He was and visit His tomb and wonder what they would do now. 
And on that third day, the Bible says early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb, saw the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciples and the ones that Jesus loved and said, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we don't know where they put him. This huge rock, well, not this one, you know what I'm talking about. Did you catch that? They actually thought that the rock had been moved because they thought the rock was final and they moved the dead person, Jesus, out of the tomb. They thought he was still dead. But the Bible goes on to say, they still did not understand from scripture what Jesus had done. He had risen from the dead. They did not get that Jesus was undefeated. They did not get that you and I can be forgiven because of what Jesus has done for us. This is why our celebration of Easter is such a big deal. After all, from our perspective, this is truly the greatest comeback of all time, period. Jesus defeated death, death and sin so that we would never have to worry about losing again. However, there is a very important question that we need to ask ourselves. What does Jesus' forgiveness mean to you? Maybe it means that you can stop worrying about the bad things you've done. Maybe it means that you can forgive someone who has hurt you, even if that's really tough. Maybe it means that you can get to know Jesus more. Maybe it means that you can celebrate today as the greatest victory of all time. Now, if you're not sure what Jesus' victory means for you, you have some amazing group leaders who would love to tell you more and help you find the hope, the joy, the freedom, and the one who is truly undefeated, Jesus. Now, next week is our final week of Dude, No One's Perfect. So I'll see you soon. But for now, let's go see what happens between Hannah and Keegan. Welcome back. During the break, we were able to find Hannah P and fill her in on how Keegan was feeling. Hannah P, come on in. Hey everybody. <sighs> Hannah, as you know, Keegan accidentally dropped his bowl in the challenge, which meant that your team was disqualified from the competition. I'm so sorry, Hannah. You're probably so mad at me. I am the worst teammate ever. I completely ruined this challenge and I totally understand if you want a new teammate, I am so, so sorry. No, listen, Keegan, I forgive you. Wait, 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 what? Here's the thing, I forgive you. It was an honest mistake and you know what? We all make them. In fact, I actually got you a medal to show you how awesome of a teammate you are. Wow, Hannah, not only did you forgive me, but you also gave me a medal? This is just too good to be true. Well, these past couple of weeks have shown me how important forgiveness is, you know? Jesus went above and beyond by dying on the cross for you and me so that we could have a second chance. His love is so much greater than I can even imagine. And I wanted to be quick to forgive just like Jesus is quick to forgive me. Well, thank you so much for forgiving me and celebrating me when I felt like I didn't deserve it. You're welcome. Now let's go practice for next week. Come on, let's go. Yeah, it, it really was. Well, join us back next week for another episode of Dude, No One's Perfect. You won't want to miss it.